Hi everyone. Welcome to this Kale Now special episode on with Nani today. We it's, it's it's a big pleasure to host him today. I'm your host Neil, and uh, Nani is obviously one of the most talented and highest rated footballers in the world. It's a big pleasure to have you, Nani. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank you for for the invitation. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. So we'll begin uh, uh, like from your starting like early days in your career. and move on to the later part of your career so it's 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 a process so let's start about uh, you talking about your initiation to the game and like how you were uh, how you how are you decided to you know uh, start football as a career yeah that's i was a long time ago um was in the beautiful moments when you're young and you don't have no pressure and um you even don't know what you're going to be but you have a lot of dreams and a lot of desires and um when i was like uh 6 years old um i started playing in the street with my brother and some friends my brother was teaching me um how to play soccer it, it, at that time it was good It was one of the best in the our our street, and um, on one on my my seven years old, um, uh, one of my friends, my best friends, he was at school. We were playing soccer, and he was going to go to train in a team. So he invited me. He said, oh, man, "Why why you, you don't come to, with me today? I have a session." so you can train with my with me my team so i said yeah of course and um but he had he had a a, a school bike so he, he used to go with his father so he, just two persons can fit in that moto and okay. to go to that to to that club to train with him i had to go by walking you know but was far and um i had to go and and it was raining a lot in that day when i arrived there i was all wet and all the all the kids were laughing on me because i was wet and no no no, no shoes for soccer no uh, no dress probably to train but it was fun because my friend told me oh why are you guys laughing on him so um you are laughing but it's very fast <laughs> <laughs> and i uh, i i showed them some skills in doing the, the training and everyone was impressed and um all the coaches and they came to talk with me and they wanted me to sign me and <laughs> from there was a big beginning on all my decision what became um my priority to be a, a professional soccer right right so that they, they'll after you like signed for sporting then you had a great time there you made your champions league debut there right yeah i i just uh, arrived to sporting when i was uh, uh, 16 years old so before i went to train some small clubs um to strela strela amador and real mm-hmm. masama um before that I was just training there and playing that this small club and then at 16 years old I moved to Sporting and from there yes was a big step and I had opportunity to build up my my physically and all my conditions I learned um how to really play uh soccer with uh, with the good players and 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 compete against the good teams Absolutely. So, uh, fast forward to your move to Manchester United. Of course, like a lot of people would want to know your experience from there. You arrived in uh, Old Trafford, you know, uh, and then uh, so so. What was uh, how how much of an influence uh, did Sir Alex Ferguson had behind your move to Manchester United? 
I think it's, um, it was one of the reasons um, for me to move to Manchester, Manchester United. Um, he saw a talent on me when I during when I play I was playing in Sporting, and uh, in that time was uh, Carlos Queiroz, the Portuguese coach, um, working with him at Man United, and he helped a little bit, give him some information. But I think, um, and I'm, I'm sure, and, and, and I'm so happy to be part of uh, Sir, Sir, Sir Alex Ferguson's story because. He was like a father to us during the, the time I was in the club. He teaches so much. Um, I learned how to, to become a much better person, much better player and uh, a champion because he builds champions. And um, we were champions when we were together at Man United. And it was a great time. Um, Yes, it was, it was very important part of my 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 story at Man United. Career, yeah. Then obviously uh, you had a union with Cristiano Ronaldo. So, like, how what was your like initial stage with that uh, at Manchester, Manchester United, and like, how did you you know uh, settle up with life there? You also had Cristiano Ronaldo there, obviously. So, how yeah, big was, a role did he play? It was nice because. Um, my first month uh, at, at Manchester was um, I didn't have where to go, I didn't have a place to, to live. So uh, my only option was just going to a hotel. And Cristiano offered the, the possibility to stay with him on his house because he was living alone. He wanted some company as well for him, it would be good. So me and Anderson, we moved to his house and we were living for one month together. And okay. it, was a great experience. it was a great experience because we did some, um, some many beautiful things together. We played ping pong, we played tennis, we swim. And all of that was a competition every day. So um, it was um, a beautiful moment for, for us. Right, right. And like when you signed for Manchester United, obviously it was, you know, one of the most talked uh, signings in the Premier League. In fact, in Europe itself. So, and after that, really, you proved your worth with, uh, you also won the double uh, with them that very season. And... Uh, Winning the Champions League and Premier League, of, of course. And uh, thereafter, uh, uh, Ronaldo obviously moved to Real Madrid. So, what was your first like initial reaction to his move? Yeah, we were a little bit surprised because we, we, used, we used to play with him. And we were a great player, one of the best players in the world in that time. And we wanted to play, play with him. We wanted him, we wanted him in our team. But um, yeah, that was a, a choice he, he chose. And uh, we had to respect um, and just wish him a good luck and, exactly. and hope for everything to go well. But the good thing, well, I keep playing with him in national team. So you know, we had so many years playing in the same okay. team for Portugal. But that was great too. All right, that's great. And even after his departure, it was I think uh, the 2010, 11, and 11, 12 seasons. You they, those were the best of seasons for you. And uh, you know, our Premier League got to <laughs> got a real taste of the nani that they had expected when the Manchester United signed you. So what what was like what how was the experience uh, with those two seasons after Ronaldo left? That was fantastic seasons because I, I assumed more responsibility and I showed the club and the team they could trust in my qualities, I could help and uh, I could perform well as well. And uh, that two seasons I was doing very, very well and was one, one of the best uh, beautiful seasons I had was in one of that seasons. And um, yeah, um, I had some some opportunity to show my quality and score some nice goals and get a fans crazy. 
that was amazing <laughs> of course speaking of those seasons uh, we obviously recently celebrated the that uh, overhead kick by wayne rooney which you had assisted so how was how was your first reaction to his goal yeah it was a great goal in the beautiful game because um you never expect to score a goal like that in a game such a big game the like that the, uh... and that game was was so excited because i was playing very good and i scored the first goal and uh i think they that in that moment was one uh, one when when rooney scored his goal so we was a, we was tied and the game that moment was not so beautiful for us and uh everyone gets surprised when he scored a goal like that to decide the game so that was a beautiful moment and everyone was like without no no don't know what to to, to do the, without reaction and uh, my reaction was just running to him and grabbing him yeah, and yeah. he so of course an iconic uh, moment in premier league that will that will be the moment one of the moments to never forget <laughs> speaking of when do he like recently retired so what uh, how would you see him as a player and as a coach now no as a player is no doubt this was a great player one of the best in the world on his position he, he did amazing he did um so many beautiful things he, he made fans crazy in in UK and all over the world um as a coach obviously is is still young um is 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 learning now but you know he have he has the the, the base you know as a, as a super player he is an intelligent uh person so uh, i'm 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 sure he will in, in certain time produce his qualities on on the field as a coach of course of course moving to uh, so so to the 2012 13 you again uh, won the premier league and you know sir alex uh, ferguson retired after that so well, how was your like uh, how was your reaction after that uh, when saf retired yeah that was a little bit shock for for everyone i think um nobody wanted him to to retire because it's very important part of the, the the club you know the stability of the club and uh we knew when if we leave the club would be different um and then that was was right that was what happened uh but uh, we had to accept because um he was there so many years uh giving us this 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 time his life was all about uh, manage all that club and give him good results to the club we had to respect because he had on his own family he had time to, to to spend with his wife his, his family so um yeah we had to accept okay and from sir alex to now ole is there so how how big a journey do you think uh, manchester united have you know have had after his retirement and what do you think is the way forward for them with ole at the as as the manager but the way is, is they are not so far i think now at this moment they are doing great um they need a bit more consistency on the defensive in certain games because the 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 team is being doing very well they are getting much better they they, they are get to know each other um well so they improved their game um the results been amazing but um yes they they need they need to to continue to win every single game because there is no space for mistakes and yes for sure they will get the opportunity to win the league or any 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 trophy they are comp- competing i think it's all about the the the, the consistency 
because they 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 improve a lot. They've been shown everyone they are a good team and they're good players. Uh, they are ready to win the title. Of course, of course. So uh, moving to the next part, then you had uh, a couple of short spells with the Sporting again. And speaking of Sporting, uh, Bruno Fernandes obviously has come from the same club, and he's been doing exceptionally well this season as well as he did last season. So, what is your uh, thought about his performance so far? Yes, his performance is something um, we could expect. We, 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 I told, um, we spoke about um, Bruno in the beginning before he just arrived. Um, I said he sh we, we should give him some time to, ad to adapt to the league. But the, the truth was, there was no need time and then he just arrived and then he performed. So, uh, but we was waiting for some beautiful performance like that. He's been very consistent on this game. And it's, it's something um, I, I, I knew when I was playing with him in sporting. I told him um, that would be a great move if he, he goes to England to play just for Manchester because there it will, be, have, it will have the opportunity to, to shine and, and win trophies. Um, he's doing well, the team is doing, let's hope he can win uh, any title this season. But if it's not this season, I, I, I think, I'm sure, they are very close to, to win one title. Absolutely. And uh, so, so with Bruno Fernandes, you uh, joining uh, Manchester United, Cristiano Ronaldo joining Manchester United, there have been a lot of uh, young players that have come through sporting. So, are there any more like rising young talents you think can uh, you know rise uh, above their level in the coming years? Yeah, in, in sporting, in sporting, there is always uh, young talents. You can um, make them uh, big stars and can become fantastic footballers. Sometimes the problem is. The personality of the kids and the young talents. When in one year you see something, and uh, the next year you don't see what are you supposed to see. So we need is the, there is a man, management you have to do uh, with this kid during certain time. Um, but if you see in the club, we have um, so much talent to explore and to give opportunities and I think now at this moment the club is ready to to do that because the motivation and the results is coming out and I think it's, it's a great moment. It's a great moment, okay. So, uh, so you, after, after sporting obviously you had a couple of short stints at Valencia, Lazio and then you eventually moved to the MLS to with uh, Orlando City. So, what, what are your thoughts about MLS as a league? How would you describe the competitiveness of the league? It's a league very, very competitive. It's, it's, a, it's a league. Every team is very close to, to, to each other. So, every team has um, uh, quality and the level of the teams is all uh, equalized. You know? We are also at the same level. So that's why it makes the league very competitive. Any team can can win, can lose, uh, any in any game, and that's 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 the fun of the, this league. And I like at this moment I've been enjoying a lot uh, here in in Orlando, and I hope this season I think will we'll, for sure will be much better because uh, we will have more games, uh, more competitions. The organization has been amazing, so I'm so happy. Of course, of course. And there are a lot of uh, high-profile players coming in, like Alexander Pato also joining uh, Orlando City recently. So, and then again, uh, uh, David Beckham has come up with uh, Inter Miami. So, it's it's kind of a exciting time for MLS. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting because you have some big names as well here in the MLS. Uh, we, have, we have a competition, uh, a rivalry against uh, Miami, 
where is David Beckham as well there manages the, the team. So um, it's, it's it's good. It's good. So you know the motivation. It's always there when you, you know these kind of things. Of course. So uh, moving to uh, the, your national team uh, thing, let's just have a, a broader perspective of like. You know how you look at your national team career. Do you like? How was your experience with the national team? You obviously were part of the Euro 2016 win. So, how 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 would you rate your performance? No, I see. I have um, great moments. Uh, was um, my dedication to the national team was the best. I. I always did my best, always did my best when I went there to the game to always put the national team in the, in the first position because it was something special. Uh, I thought every time I was there, I was playing for my family, for my friends, for my background. So, and um, that was uh, making me feel special when I was in, a, in the national team. And we had a great results in 2016. We won the European. Uh, uh, cup, and that was the biggest achievement we have in Portugal. So I'm so proud to be part of that. And this is something um, making me so happy uh, when I look back all my times I passed in the national team, and I continue to to support like, all the games I see from national team. So after uh, look, speaking of the national team, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is obviously still scoring for goals for them. But who is the next, uh, you know, top performer for them that you think will, you know, carry the flag forward? You you can see there is some young talents are playing for national team right now. They are playing for big teams. You have uh, Bruno Fernandes doing very well in the um, in Manchester, but in the national team we didn't. Had the opportunity to, to to show all his quality, but for sure, very soon he will put it all his game in the, in the national team. And you have John Felix, you have Bernardo Silva, you have um, Andre Silva. You have players who are getting conf- confidence and and getting stronger on his own game. So very soon you will see a very different. Uh, faces with the, in terms of owning the responsibility instead of always seeing Cristiano or Nani or all the other players before. Um, you, this is good because we need to have players to to replace and continue to the leg, the legacy of of Portugal team. Of course, absolutely. Uh, so let's move on uh, to the, you know, final segments of uh, this thing. Let's uh, talk about Indian football. Have you like, what is the perception of Indian football, the Indian Super League, uh, in Europe, in the US, of course? And uh, what 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 is your opinion on that? Well, the opinion I think is a, it's a league. Um, we have uh, space to, to, to grow. Be, to tell, be honest, I don't know um, a lot of uh, the Indian League because I don't have the information like I would have in Europe or, or, or any other, other leagues. Place, yeah. Other leagues. But I, I hear and then I, I, I met some, 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 some people before. Uh, who was offered me to go to, to India, but I said, no, I was too young. Okay. And I was the to go. And uh, they were telling me um, they are investing in the league and they're trying to, to make the league very competitive, bring some course. good players, big names. And this is good. I was so happy and um, I hope you guys can make a fantastic league and with the great players and can spread the vision for all the world, for everyone to see, because I've been hearing a lot about India and um, it's a great country. And I have so many friends from there 
and you guys are a lovely, lovely people. So I think you guys deserve to have good footballer there because yet I know you guys are very uh, fanatic fans as well. As that, those are kind words for us. Thank you very much. So let's move on to uh, the final part of this uh, interview. Uh, let's begin with this uh, rapid fire. Are you ready? Okay. I'll just uh, ask some simple questions. You just have to answer as quickly as possible. Okay. 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 So, what is your favorite childhood memory uh, related to football? Playing with friends in the street. Okay. And who's the teammate with whom you got the best, you know, uh, relation with? Teammate. Um... I have a couple. I have uh, Miguel Veloso, Bruno Alves, Antonio Valencia, Pat <laughs> Patricia Bra. Great. I put all in the same, all in the same, the same packet. Same bag. Okay. Okay. So, what, what, what is your experience of uh, Sir Alex Ferguson's hair dryer treatment? If you have seen those. Say again. Say again. Uh, Sir Alex Ferguson's uh, hair dryer treatment. You know those famous. Uh... Oh, <laughs> I had a couple. Uh, very difficult to handle. <laughs> <laughs> any any uh, any moments you can share with us? Um, yeah, maybe one game when it took me at half time. I had to hear the. I was not performing well. So he said, Danny, for you, it's enough today. Now you sit and watch the game. Oh. So it, was, it was very strong. It was very strong to me that day. I feel very, I was very, very close to cry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, moving on, uh, your best dressed teammate. Sorry? Best dressed teammate. Best dress teammate, I'm gonna tell you, in that, in that, in Manchester United, that, there was a competition <laughs> with the, with, with the real Ferdinand and Cristiano. So yeah. they all thought they were the best dressings, but real Ferdinand was laughing on Cristiano because they say he was not the, the best dressing. <laughs> and uh, Cristiano was always giving back and saying, no, nah, if you pull one close of mine, is one of, one of your, your salary. <laughs> 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 and uh, we were laughing a lot, you know. That was a good, very good joke they would make in our dressing room. We had a fantastic dressing room at that time. Speaking of the dressing room, who's the funniest teammate you've had in the dressing room? I think it's uh, Patricia Bra was the funniest. He always was ready to make... Um, Make jokes, you know. Uh, yeah, playing with the with the clothes or, or the shoes with the uh, other teammate, and then sometimes he cut. He used to cut the the, uh, the, the 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 shoes in a half with the shoes and and put it together. And someone went go to to put it on, and then that's <laughs> half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. That was fun. <laughs> then uh, the best uh, defender you faced so far? In the training, Vidic, Nemanja Vidic, it was very hard to train with him. Um, always kick my heels. <laughs> and I was ending the sessions every day with blood. So oh. <laughs> I was not happy. <laughs> it was a great, great, oh. great defender. Any of uh, the current players, you know, uh, as you would uh, like to nominate as the best player in your position? Uh, now you have um, you, you have Russia, Rashford, Rashford for Man United. He's doing great. I like the style of his game. He scored a great goal last last game. Yes, he's, he's one of the best now in this position. He needs to continue to perform like that, so very soon he will be involved in the best one. Absolutely. And finally, uh, your all-time favorite five-a-side team. 
you can pick yourselves by the side okay i put me i put gonna gonna do different this time put van der sar in the in the in the goal deco in the middle bruno always to kick everyone <laughs> i put <laughs> cristiano in the front and i take myself of the team i don't need to play i'm a coach okay <laughs> and um so and i put both goals okay that's five that's five yeah that's that's the four post goals cristiano bruno alves and van der vandersa and this and then the, the, the you want a bench <laughs> yeah yeah of course pick yourself <laughs> Bench of put Rooney in I would put uh, João Cancelo okay he, he have so much skills for foot foot for five side definitely yeah and um my friend Miguel Beloso is very good five side and uh let me see berbatov okay <laughs> great great that, oh, that seems like a great team <laughs> i can put i could put any player i have so many great players who i play with so i think it's not fair to choose just just five, five. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> okay i think uh, that's that's uh, it It was a wonderful pleasure having uh, you with us Nani today and I hope we catch up again soon in the future and hope you have a great wonderful season ahead and have a good day. Yeah, fantastic my pleasure. Thank you very much for the interview. See you soon. See you soon.